what you're looking at here is the Titan Conference Management System software interface. And what I'd like to do in this short video is highlight some of the features and why they're so important in a city council environment. Uh, things like uh, the request to speak functionality for controlling microphones on uh, who gets to speak and when, also showing that information to the audience. Electronic voting, uh, how this system, this tied in system can collect the data from each voting member of council and display that information to the audience and also archive that information in a report. Lastly, I want to talk about digital recording. Uh, this system will also be able to take in an audio signal from those microphones and digitally record that and not just have the audio, but also again, just like the microphone control, taking the names and the other data involved from the meeting and tagging that to the file. So those are the three things we're going to cover today. And I'd like to start with microphone control. In a lot of city council environments, there's a variety on Charter as far as how a microphone gets activated. In, in other words, saying, how does a member of council have permission to speak? And what's great about the Titan system is that it's so flexible. Right now, we're going to look at request to speak. That's fairly common in which a person, a council member, might want to speak towards a topic, so they simply press a microphone on off button. So they simply press a microphone on off button, and instead of activating their microphone right away, they just go right into the request to speak mode. I can also view that as a list, and I can see their names here. This is in chronological order. Here we have a very basic graphic. And again, this graphic is generated by the Titan system automatically. And if we allow one of those people to speak, we see that we have that information right here uh, on the audience display. So that's just one way that this system can handle how a microphone turns on and off. And why that's really important, the microphone is only on when a member of council is ready to speak. Now that's going to be really important for the people who are in the room trying to listen to the conversation. It's also going to be really important for the broadcasting organization at your council who is trying to take the audio feed and then send it out to the uh, television channel. And it's also going to be important for the recording process. Uh, this system is designed to increase intelligibility. And that's what control over the microphones is going to offer you. Now moving on from microphone, we have electronic voting. With this software, the huge advantage, of course, is being able to display to the audience and also to the members of council what voting topic we are on. So for example, we have a very generic voting topic here. If I choose to display this, so that is displayed on all of the audience's screens. So when we start the vote, we still see just the resolution, except now you can add a message the voting process has started. Now in all the hardware, what happens is that you have um, all of the voting options. So we have a yes, no, or abstain. So as people make their choice, we don't see that choice until the end. So if I end this vote, we see the results here on the operator screen. But more importantly, we can have a screen showing who voted and how they voted by name. So that's very important to be able to show immediately what the result of that topic was. And there's no issue of trying to take the notes during the meeting if you're the clerk or the clerk's assistant. This information is gathered automatically. So very important for the minutes, but also very important for the transparency of the meeting as it's happening. Now lastly, I want to talk about digital recording. Simply adding a Titan Council Chamber solution is going to improve the intelligibility of that recording, again, because the microphones will only be on when you're ready to speak, and you're going to eliminate a lot of the room noise. What the Titan solution can also do is add a module for digital recording. But even better, if I look at my playback from some of the other meetings, I have all of the meeting information and the name of the person and the date and the time at which they spoke also attached to the file. For example, if I want to search for every time that Al Wagner spoke, 
I can just do a quick search, and now I can see every single time that Al spoke, and I can check these files and play them back. So if you're the clerk, no more fast forward and rewinding through one large file. You can actually just go directly to the portion of the meeting or to the person and play back that uh, sound bite and add that to the minutes. Again, you're increasing intelligibility, you're increasing efficiency, and you're increasing transparency of government. That is the key of the Titan Council Chamber solution. Thank you very much.